Good morning, everybody. So today we're going to be looking at how to calculate measures of central tendency on Excel. So that is mean, median, and mode. Uh, I have got some grouped data. You might not have grouped data. You might have stuff that goes 151, 152, 153, etc. Um, I'll show you how to use that sort of data to calculate these as well. The group data just requires one additional step, which we're going to do straight away. So that additional step is we don't know whether the one person that was asked between 150 and 155, whether this be heights, for example, um, we don't know if it was a 150 or a 154 or 152, etc. So we're going to need to use a midpoint and that will be our best guess for what their value would represent. So uh, to add in an extra column, I'm just going to go up to the column to the right of where I want it. I want it in between this groups of frequency and I'm going to just click insert. I'm going to type midpoint there and I'm going to provide the midpoint for these ranges, 152.5, 157.5. And once I've got a little bit of a pattern going, if I highlight those, click this green uh, square and drag, um, it'll finish that pattern off and it'll give me all the midpoints that I need for these groups. So at this point, I could ignore this column, delete it, whatever, and this would be just like having uh, normal data that is not grouped. But I will keep that there just for now, just for reference. So first thing is we're gonna type mean, median and mode down the bottom. Now, before uh, we get too into it, the median and the mode are gonna be calculated using very basic measures. There are more substantial ones online. I would recommend Googling those, but they're beyond the scope of what we're wanting to do here for a year eight course. So we need some additional columns to be able to calculate these mean, median and modes. The first one is we need to have a score times frequency column. That's going to be useful for us to calculate the um, the mean, and we also want a cumulative frequency column uh, to be able to calculate the median. If you ever want to extend a column width, you can just go in between the two columns you want to expand and double click and it will instantly go to size. I also want to try and calculate some totals, so I'm going to put some total, I'm going to write total down here, and we're going to find the total for frequency, and we're also going to find the total for score times frequency, but we'll get to that in just a moment. So, first thing is, to calculate mean, we want to get all of the numbers and add it together, and then divide by how many there are. The how many there are is represented by the total of the frequency. So, Whilst we have all the frequency values there, I'm going to go below it to calculate the total. To do that, I'm going to write equals. That tells Excel we want to do something. And then I'm going to write sum. As you can see here, it says add all the numbers in the range of cell. I can double click this, or I could just um, click the starting of a bracket, and that will recognize that you want to do that function. But if you don't do the bracket, you can double click, and it instantly goes to there as well. It now wants you to highlight all of the values you want to add together, so I'll do that. Ending the bracket will allow it to finish up the sum that it wants to do, and pressing enter will give you a value. So I have 22 different values, and that will be my denominator for the mean. It is my n value. Now for my numerator, the top value, that is adding all the values together. This here, the midpoint, is going to be our best representation of this one frequency. But if I go down to this 5, we're going to be basically saying that there was 5 167.5 values. Which means I would have to add 167.5 together 5 times. Or that is just the same as timesing the two numbers together, which is what we're going to do. So, next to uh, where you want to do your score times frequency, we're going to type equals. And we are going to click the score. We're going to press shift eight to get the little times by symbol and we're going to do the frequency. So we are just doing score times the frequency of that score and pressing enter. We don't need to write this for every single row. We can do our drag technique. So we can click on that uh, green square and drag. And you'll see that for these ones in particular, 167.5 times five, they've calculated as 837.5. Now, we need to add all of these together though to get our top numerator value. So we're going to do the same approach as before. So next to total, we're going to do equals or write sum. You can either double click or brackets. Highlight the stuff you're wanting to add together, end brackets, and enter. 
So now that we have all the values that we want, we've got the numerator and the denominator, we need to go down to the mean where we want the value to go and we want it to do the sum for us. So we're going to type equals, we're going to click on our numerator, which is the 3705 for me, my score times frequency totaled column, and I want to divide by the total frequency, which is going to be my denominator. I press enter and it will solve the mean for us. Now for mine, I've got too many uh, data points, uh, too many decimal places. So I can come up to the top here and if you want more decimal places, you can click this increase decimals. Otherwise you can go over to this decrease decimals. You can see every time I click it, I'm reducing it by one. I wanna go down to two decimal places. If I compare to my data, does 168.41 look like it checks out to be the mean? Yes, I've got a large amount that's above it but I also have a large amount that's below it and stuff that's sitting around that value. So that seems like it checks out to be the average. So we've calculated mean. Now it's time to calculate median. Uh, like I said before, this is not going to be a very complex version. It's more of a, just a comparison. But to do that comparison, we need to do the cumulative frequency. So cumulative frequency is adding the frequencies as they go down. So the first row will just have the first row's frequency in it but the second row will have the first row and the second row's frequency added together. So to do that, we're going to press equals and we are going to click the frequency of that row for the first one. So nice and basic, it says up to that point, we've got a frequency of one. For the next one down though, we are wanting to press equals to make it do a sum. And we're wanting to take that previous frequency of row one and we're wanting to add row two's frequency to it. So I'm taking the cumulative frequency value above and adding uh, the next one down. And then I can press enter on that. Now, since I've now got myself a diagonal pattern going, if I was to drag down, it would continue that diagonal pattern all the way down, which is what we're going to do. So I can click, click the green square and I can drag that all the way down. And we should see my total cumulative frequency should add up to be my total. All right. So median. Median is the middle value. Uh, to find the median position, uh, we do the formula of n plus 1 divided by 2. We are going to do that. So we're going to go equals. We're going to go bracket. So we can do our n. That's our total frequency. Plus 1. End our bracket for that. And we can do divide by 2. This will tell us the position for the median, and our position is the 11.5th frequency. And all we're going to do is we're going to compare that to the cumulative frequency to find which one has the mean in it. And we're just going to highlight. So right now I've highlighted the mean yellow, and I'm going to highlight whatever row associates to the mean uh, median as yellow as well. So cumulative frequency says the first value is in here, the second and third value is in here, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth value is in there. And this one has the nine, 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th. So the 11th point fifth value must be in this row somewhere. So I'm gonna go over to the group and I'm gonna say that there is the median. If you get a median that sits in between two, so example 8.5, that sits between the eighth value and the ninth value, which would be in this 13, both of these, uh, in between these rows is where the median would be and you would have to go in between these midpoints to try and find that value. All right, lucky last, mode. Mode is an observational one as well. We are just going to look at the frequencies and whichever ones have the biggest frequency uh, will be the mode. If there's multiple with the biggest frequencies, we're gonna say it is multimodal or bimodal or trimodal, depending on how many there are. Uh, I have three, so I would say that this is trimodal. I'm just going to highlight the mode a different color. So I'm gonna go up here and go blue and I'm gonna highlight all of the ones that have the highest frequencies as blue. I could also highlight the groups. However, uh, we'd have to work around the highlighting that we did for the median before.